it's Tay of Shantae Plans and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be planning from June 24th to the 30th and using this beautiful kit from Nikki Plus 3. This, this is her Hint of Honey 2.0 kit. These are the bows that come with the kit when you order it during her new release weekend. These get included with your order as a freebie, which is really nice. The kit also comes with matching icons and I love the fact that there are different color swatches behind each of the icons that match perfectly with the kit. On this page we have the full boxes and this kit is foiled with gold foil and I just think it is so pretty. I've never used a weekly kit from Nikki Plus 3 before so I'm really excited to give this a try. Uh, her paper is premium matte paper and it feels so smooth and so nice to the touch. So we've got full boxes and quarter boxes here. This is our functional page with bow checklist, date dots, some quarter boxes, headers, today and to do headers, build deal appointment label, habit trackers, and the weekend banner. On this page, we've got half boxes, cut washi, some deco, page flags, and scripts. And then on this page, we have the bottom washi, which also has gorgeous gold foil on it, our Monday through Sunday tracker, the date covers, and some more quarter boxes here. So I'm gonna white out the lines at the bottom here and get started putting down the bottom washi so we can get going with this kit. As I'm putting down the bottom washi, I do want to say this is not the kit that was previewed in my last plan with me. Uh, I had some editing issues and then some of the footage got deleted. So I just decided, you know what, I was having so much trouble working on that video. I decided to just go ahead and let that one go, move on to the next week. And so here we are with this kit, um, which is fine because that's the good thing about having a planner. Sometimes you can just turn the page and start over. Um, so now that I have the bottom washi down, I'm moving on to the date covers. I've used the date dots from the kit and the date covers as well, which are so beautiful. I love the floral, floral print on them and the foiling really pops against it, which is really nice. Now that I've put down the date covers, I'm moving on to the sidebar. Starting with the quote box, it says Vintage Farmhouse Honey since 1923. And once I put that down, I realized it was too similar to the honeycomb page flag, so I swapped that out for the floral one, and I thought that complemented it much better. Now I'll create my first section in my sidebar, which is where I'm going to mark my PR post for the week. So I'm putting down one of the quarter boxes from the kit, or actually above that, I've put down a gold foiled header from Rose Colored Days, then put down one of the quarter boxes from the kit and then added a half box from the kit or I'm going to layer some hearts from Regina Laughs. It's actually left over from an old kit that I'd used. Then I decided that pink was a little bolder than I wanted so I swapped it out for the lighter pink in the kit. And then after I've got that section done, I'm moving on to the next section in my sidebar. So I've used another gold foiled header as a divider. Then put down the um, header and Monday through Sunday tracker. Then I'm going to create a section for my habit tracker. Uh, so I've put down the habit tracker from the kit and then I also wanted to put down a YouTube tracker um, and that is from Tassel Planner. Now that I have those down, I'm adding the scripts to my sidebar and I have two scripts from Artbox stickers, one that says PR post and then the other that was the YouTube. And then I also added a meals and workout script from Rose Color Days and all of these scripts are in gold foil. Now that my sidebar is done, I'm going to move on to my day-to-day. -day. Starting on Monday, I'm putting down one of the to-do headers from the kit. I'm going to use a little clock from Tasseled Planner, and I'm going to use that to remind myself to approve my time card, which is what I have to do on the weeks that I get paid. So it's always the, a very happy thing to do first thing Monday morning. Underneath there, I've added a half box from Art Box stickers, and I love these half boxes because they have such a clean design with the um, simple colored background and then just the two foil lines it makes it really easy to layer stickers on top of them so I've added the little briefcase icon from the kit and a work script from GP sticker studio to mark down some things I wanted to get done at work that day and then I'm adding the full box for Monday and it's so cute with the little um, bumblebee on it I love it Underneath there, I've put down one of the label stickers from the kit, and I'm layering this cute little money stack from Tasseled Planner to mark down reviewing my weekly budget. I knew there was going to be a planner sale coming up at the end of the week, and so reviewing my weekly budget is just another way of me checking in on myself, making sure that I'm staying on track with my funds, and, and then deciding how I want to decide to spend my discretionary funds. Um, 
it's underneath there I put down a cute squiggle from um, Nikki Plans and Rose Color Days was a collaboration they did and then I've added a page flag from the kit to mark that I wanted to make my 4th of July plans so that was coming up the following week um, at the top of Tuesday, I started with a gold foiled header from Rose Colored Days. And then I'm adding this cute little quarter box from Tassel Planner. And she has some really cute quarter boxes that match to this kit so perfectly. I really loved incorporating them. And I've added a $2 Tuesday script from Rose Colored Days. Underneath there, I'm using a cute little squared, like, I don't even know how to describe this. It's like a little notepad, I guess. Um... I think there's a word for it that I'm just not thinking of, um, but I love it. I love the design. It's like a cute little memo pad, I guess, and it's got a little bow on it. So cute, but I need to go to Alan's Party Supply, and so I, I made a note of that and then added a washi strip from the kit, then jumped down to the bottom of the page, put down another one of those cute label stickers, and added a gold elliptical icon from Tassel Planner to mark my workout. I really love using Tassel Planner icons, and in fact, her multicolored icons were what first drew me to her shop, so you'll see I use them quite a bit throughout my spread. Okay, so we're gonna take a bit of a jump and move over to Wednesday, and I'm starting with one of the today headers, and then I'm gonna put down one of the cute little floral quarter boxes from the kit, and I have these new um, scripts from Rose Color Days. I used one of the $2 Tuesdays on Tuesday, and on Wednesday, I'm using her hashtag midweek script, and I layered that with a little Instagram icon from Artbox Stickers, and that's to mark doing my midweek posts, which I always do on Instagram, and then, I jumped back to Tuesday, put down the full box from Tuesday, and then went right back to Wednesday. I used another gold foiled header from Rose Color Days and then added a full box to the top of Wednesday and then went right back to Tuesday. So I've placed down the cute little envelope from the kit, which could absolutely be used to mark Happy Mail, but I actually used it to mark out some letters in mail that I needed to send out. And then I added a heart divider from Nettie Designs. I adore these so much. I've got to get some more of these. I got it on one of her foil sampler sheet, and I want to order some more. I love them. Then I added one of the um, Nikki bows and um, marked that I needed to check in on the UPS Facebook group. Then I moved over to the sidebar because I wanted to swap out the heart checklist in the sidebar for a foiled heart checklist from rose colored days and i liked that a lot better i felt like it really went with the kit well back at the bottom of monday i put down one of the headers from the kit and then added one of these gold foiled boxes from tasseled planner and i really liked that i used this on monday because i don't have one of the gold headers from rose colored days on monday and so i feel like this quarter box adds a really strong pop of gold foil on that um on that column and so i used a tv icon from tassel planner and just marked that my husband and i have been binge watching the practice on um Amazon Prime and I love that show um back over to Wednesday I put down a quarter box and added some sticker sheet icons from Tassel Planner and made a note that I needed to promote the ultimate planner sale that was coming up that weekend which Tassel Planner would be in and I as one of her PR team members um I help promote sales and things that she's in and you can also get a discount on her stickers with my discount code, you can save 15% on your Tassel Planner order. You'll find that code and all of my other discount codes in the description box. I placed down a half box from the kit and added a headphones icon from Tassel Planner to mark some things I was listening to while I was at work. And I was listening to a podcast and an audible book. And so I wanted to mark both of those down. Then I added one of the washi strips from the kit and layered an edit plan with me script from Letters to Apollo on top of that. I'm also on Letters to Apollo's PR team. So you'll find a discount code in the description box for her shop as well. Underneath there, I've added another one of those half boxes from Artbox stickers, but this time I used the one with the eggshell background instead of the white, and I thought the eggshell went 
even better with this kit. It's kind of a softer, creamy color. I layered a gold script from Paper Focus and then added the little Honeybee Deco sticker from the kit. And I'm using my craft knife to cut off the part of the honeybee that hung over where I'd placed it on the edge. And I thought that helped incorporate it into the half box really nicely. And I used that to mark some goals I had for that day, which included cleaning my office and folding and putting away some laundry. Moving over to Thursday, I started with a gold header from Rose Colored Days and then added a little shopping bag icon from Artbox stickers. I used that to mark a Walmart run I wanted to do before work, which is super convenient because it's the least crowded time of day in Walmart and it's right around the corner from my job and so I can get in and out of there and still get to work on time. Underneath there, I put down a half box and layered a Don't Forget script from Rose Color Days along with one of Nikki's bows. And I'm using that to mark uh, some things I needed to take care of from work um, that were actually very, very important, which is why I used that Don't Forget script. I had quite a few things I wanted to get done on Thursday, and since I didn't have too, too much space left, I decided to make a checklist, so I put down the to-do header, and then here's where the magic of editing comes in, because there was quite a long pause where I searched for any other checklist I could use to mark this. I didn't have another one of those three heart checklists from Rose Color Days, and I was so sad. Um... And I really wanted a foil checklist here. So I decided to just go ahead and use the bow checklist from the kit. You guys know I'm not a fan of these banner style checklists. But I was like, hey, it's just one. Use it. Um, and so I marked down a couple of things I really needed to get done that day. Um, and then uh, one of which was painting my nails. And so I put down this cute little nail polish bottle from our box stickers. And then layered a foiled bow icon from Tassel Planner on top of it. Underneath there, I'm using a quarter box from Tassel Planner. I needed to pack up some hair supplies because I was going to uh, go do my mother-in-law's hair the following night. I'm now going to continue scattering the rest of the full boxes for the end of the week. I put Friday and kind of like halfway between the middle and bottom. Saturday went up at the top and then Sunday kind of between the top and middle box. Then moving back to Friday, I put down another one of those quarter boxes from Tassel Planners and added a little money sack icon and payday script from Netty Designs. And I do have a discount code for Netty Designs as well, and that's in the description box. Okay, now watch that full box on Friday because it's about to flip, which I actually don't have on camera, but you can see at one point the flowers are at the top and now they're at the bottom. I flipped it over and decided to write in that full box. So I added the sticker sheet from Tassel Planner and then wrote down that the Tassel Planner was in the Ultimate Planner sale that was starting that day. Then I'm moving back up to the top where I put down that header underneath the payday and I've layered a work script from the kit on top of there. Uh, it was month in so it's going to be a very busy work day. Then I added another one of those eggshell gold foiled half boxes from our box stickers and layered some travel icons from GP Sticker Studios on top of there. I wanted to help my dad check into his flight. <laughs> doing things online is just not my parents thing and so I try to help them as much as I can um underneath there I put down a little money stack from rose color days to mark a bank run that I needed to do at lunch and then I'm adding a another one of those to do headers from the kit and I've added another one of those gold quarter boxes from Tassel Planner uh, to mark that I was going to order our tickets to go see Spider-Man. I really loved incorporating these gold foil boxes because of the bright, bold punch of foil, but also because I omitted the deeper colors in this kit. It has a bolder pink and a bold green in this kit, and I focused on mostly using the light pink and the yellow um, accents from this kit. Then I placed down a hair blow dryer icon from Tassel Planner and marked that I went over to help do my mother-in-law's hair. Then on Saturday, I'm putting down a little car icon from the kit to mark taking my dad to the airport. Next, I'm putting down a header and using it almost like a divider. Underneath there, I'm using a half box and I'm going to layer some balloon stickers from Tassel Planner to mark that it was my niece and nephew's seventh birthday party. Their actual birthday was on Thursday and their parents took them to Disneyland, which was so exciting because they previously had been scared of like the characters and this time they weren't afraid to like see and play with and take pictures with Mickey, which was really cool and they were telling us all about it at the party. 
It was one of those paint and sip parties, but since it was for kids, there wasn't a lot of sipping going on, but it was so much fun and it was so great being out with our family. My husband and I are both in grad school, so we don't get to spend as much time with our families as we'd like to. And so after the party, we ended up going out to the mall and that's using this half box from our box stickers to mark that we went to the Westfield Mall, which was so much fun. We relaxed, we had some lunch, we took the kids to the Disney store and they were so excited and happy. I went to the Tiffany store and gave my husband a mild heart attack fun was had by all <laughs> um and then afterwards I uh, we went home and I did some binge watching on YouTube and I'm using the little tv icon from the kit to mark that I watched some cruise vlogs and looked at some excursions for our upcoming cruise in October I got this cute little page flag with the eyelashes from a freebie from the sweet planner and so I'm using that to mark sleeping in on Sunday morning and the sleep in script is from Netty Designs. Underneath there I marked that it was a cleaning day and I used the deco from the kit that cute little backpack and layered that next to it and then I realized I hadn't put down my weekend banner so I'm lifting up that cleaning day sticker because I want to make a little bit of room so that I can layer the weekend banner. I'm putting it mostly on Saturday and letting it trail into Sunday and so I like the way that layers there. Then moving down to the bottom of Sunday, I'm putting down a quarter box to mark an elliptical workout. And then I went back up under the full box on Sunday and used this cute little square box and that's from GP Sticker Studio. And I used that to mark planning all day. And that planner icon is from Tassel Planner. And I had a really chill day on Sunday. It was very nice. Um, I just wanted to relax, do some planning, and then also catch up on some editing uh, because I was a little bit backed up on my plan with me's and then I was having all of the issues with editing that I was having. So um, that was basically what my Sunday was about. And that completes this week's spread. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Here's a preview at next week's spread. Next week I'll be planning from July 1st to the 7th and using this gorgeous kit from Sweet from the Sweet Planner. So I love the colors and the design of this kit and I hope you guys will come back next week and check out this plan with me. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you next video. Bye.